Right, grade 10, let's carry on with our revision. We're going to carry on with part 3. And it says, two learners were asked by their teacher to connect three resistors in series, 1, 2, and 3, and to connect a voltmeter to measure the potential difference across the combination of resistor 1 and 2. They were also asked to connect an ammeter to measure the current in the circuit. The learners could not draw a circuit diagram for the connection, but they drew a sketch that is given below. Study their sketch and answer the questions given below. Okay, fine. So what have we got? We've got plus, minus, plus, minus, and then let's just follow the circuit around to make sure it works. There's resistor 1, there's resistor 2, there's the resistor 3, ooh, and then there's a voltmeter, and there's an ammeter. So they've obviously made mistakes here. Let's have a look. It says there are two very serious mistakes that they've made in their connection. Study the learner's diagram and describe the two mistakes. Well, obviously what that should have been done is they should have swapped these two. The ammeter needs to be connected in series. Why? Because an ammeter has very low resistance, so the ammeter needs to be connected in series, otherwise it won't actually participate in the reaction. I mean, won't won't be able to measure the current, okay? And the voltmeter needs to be connected in parallel. Why? Because voltmeters have got very high resistance. And the way this is connected is it's not actually going to let the current go through at all. And it's not going to be able to measure the, res the, the voltage or the energy of required to go through the circuit. So that's what the problem is. Okay. Now it says draw the correct circuit diagram based on the instructions given by the teacher. Also include a switch in the circuit diagram. So everything else is right. Okay. They've got uh, three resistors in series to connect to voltmeter to measure potential difference resistor one and two. Everything else is right except for for these two. So let's go. We've got two cells and we've got resistor 1, resistor 2 and resistor 3, R1, R2 and R3. But do you agree that now we need to have an ammeter which is in series and they want us to have a switch. Okay. And then the voltmeter needs to be in parallel. Okay, the voltmeter needs to be in parallel. And there we go, we've done that question. Moving on. Now it says, the diagram of the voltmeter connected in the circuit is shown below. What is the reading on the voltmeter? So we can see that it goes from zero to, it's in volts, it says volts here, so we know it's volts. Okay, and it's 20, 40, 60, which means that this year must be 10. So every one of these must be worth, let's think about it. If that's 10, that'll be 12, 14, 16, 18. So therefore that is measuring 12 volts. Now it says a potential difference of 24 volts is applied across the resistor to drive a certain charge through it. The work done driving this charge is through the resistor is three joules. Calculate the charge. So this is a separate question. It says the potential difference. So tell us that the potential difference V is 24 volts. Across the resistor, it says the work done, the work done, we push this charge through the resistor is three joules. And they want to know what is the charge. What is the charge? Well, we know and we can see it from our formula sheet that work is equal to VQ. So that makes it easy because we're trying to solve for Q. So therefore work divided by V is equal to Q. So the work is 3 divided by the volts of 24 is going to give us Q. So therefore that, if we divide that by 3, it's 1 and that is 8. So 1 eighth is equal to Q and then you can either put it in your calculator or you can know that therefore Q is equal to 0, 0,125 and what is charge measured in? It's measured in coulombs. Okay, that is part 3 of our paper one revision. Remember that I'm just revising the second part of the term, in other words term two's work. To look at some revising of term one's work you need to go back to your revision lessons for your control test in term one. Right, let's move on.